Hi there, and welcome to one of, if not the last, Hornet I shall be doing this year. I only do them in the spring and early summer, and that's it for me. This one is a 99 with 32,000 miles on the clock. Uh, it's a fairly attractive thing. The other ones are always uh, seem to be more popular than any other colours. Um, purpose of these videos, if you've never seen one before, is to do kind of what you would be doing when you come to see a bike, going round all over it, uh, looking for signs of slide damage, anything untoward. Uh, the only thing is, because you get to do it from the comfort of your armchair while dipping your custard creams in your cocoa. Um, tires as per normal, the measurements will be at the end of the video. Uh, I will point out here though that the front one is getting close. It's getting close to its limit and it will need changing sooner rather than later. But of course um, I do reflect that in the price of the bike. Um, so, no more to be said, let's get up close and personal, see what it's all about. First thing I always look at are the discs, because and I'm having a good old feel here, but I know they're okay. Um, uh, they should, they, well they would be okay on this mileage unless somebody's abused them in the past by running the pads down to the metal, and they are expensive items, but there is no lip in there. Um, then we're looking for signs of any damage really going around the rest of the bike um, front guard as you can see there is all good there's no no splits no cracks no well they normally crack if they get walloped at the front but uh, nothing to be spoken of there fork seals as you can see is part of my um, PDI um, check uh, and it's also got a new MOT so you know it's gone through those twice Headlamp, no signs of any damage there, um, no cracks, no bits missing out of it. Um, headlamp rim on both sides, it's good. Uh, these Hornets go over, they tend to um, go over the handlebars or flick back and do various amounts of damage. One of them being scuff up this um, headlamp rim. Clocks around, you can see it's all good. Um, front right indicator, no marks on that. Uh, front brake lever, likewise, this is the handlebar weight right hand, it's got a tiny little mark on the top there, but um, there's no other signs of slide damage on the bike, so who knows what that is, but I'm pointing out marks where I see them. Right hand mirror is all good, nothing wrong with that. Uh, then we come around to the, the tank. It's all good again these hornets they this the way they design the tank it it protrudes a long way here if the bikes go over uh, depending on which side um, bang you'll always see big dents or scuffs along here but that's all perfectly good it's got this carbon effect zip protector on it while we're up at this altitude we'll uh, have a look at the seat again on the older ones they tend to split crack pull back but it hasn't done that um, if it does that obviously the foam inside gets wet you get wet bum but seat is all good nothing wrong there now we're going down a bit lower again if they go over these radiators will tend to bend back it's as straight as a die um, you can see on the leading edge this um, thing that makes the radiators look nice no no scuffs on that Headers are all good, they're not blowing, they've not got holes in. Um, now we come around to the side, the um, crankshaft end cap, all good, no signs of it. There are a couple of tiny little marks here, but they're hairline, you know, it's, it's what is it? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, um, it's a few years old, um, but they're only general wear and tear, pushing it out and in people's front gates. So I, I do point them out but they're tiny 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 it's not slide damage this um, thermostat housing cap again sticks right out if uh, the bikes go over these tend to get wiped out or marked up not a mark on it also rear brake lever is all good driver's peg 
is all good no signs of any slide damage and the pillion peg and the mounting now any of all of this that I've just spoken about if the bikes go for a slide it's just way too much to you know to replace they, they they're going to tend to leave them on and you will see um, associated slide damage there is none right hand side panel they're well tucked out the way they never get damaged that's all good um, the silencer uh, guard again because it protrudes you'll see scuffs along here showing any signs of slide damage there is none and also this right hand seat cow again they poke out and I have seen them in the past where again they'll take scuffs along there so there we are that's the right hand side all good and really just repeat wash and repeat for the left hand side oh rear right indicator no marks on that rear left no marks on that coming down low again with the seat cowl the seat side panel all good and then get real low the pillion peg and mounting that's got a couple of tiny little marks but then they're, they're not slide damage there's nothing along there driver's peg and gear lever again because they all stick out if the bike goes over goes for a slide these will get marked up tank all good clutch lever all good handlebar weight and again some tiny little marks on it but it's not slide damage but don't ask me what it is <laughs> um, the left hand mirror mark free front left indicator likewise yeah nothing there and the left hand view of the radiator i'm now laying on the floor left hand view of the front wheel time to get up and start it kill switch on hit the button don't need to do any of this throttling and revving nonsense they'll just start off the button if they're good it's stone cold so it's ticking over about 900 rpm i set them to 1250 1300 when they're warmed up so um, there we are come around here you can have a listen to the motor there's no ticks bangs or rattles there they don't leak it doesn't leak water it doesn't leak oil it's only got the standard silencer on it so it sounds like a sewing machine uh, a lot of people change those for more rootier ones but this one comes with a standard can so i will shut it up take a few steps backwards so you can have one last look and say thanks for watching and i hope you enjoyed your custard creams